you only need these instructions to play sounds on collision in Unity. But if the objects aren't set up correctly, sounds won't play, no matter how hard we try. Two objects with a collider and at least one rigid body involved is enough to detect collisions between those objects. For a more in-depth analysis of collision detection, please refer to the video that I leave in the corner. In this case, I'm just going to show you how to play a sound when these collisions happen. And at the end of the video, you'll have a button to download this prototype, fully functional to import in your project. Consider subscribing before we begin. So we start with the sphere. It has a rigid body component and we use this object as walls. Both of them have colliders assigned. I create a new script and we are going to add it to each of the wall objects because the walls are going to detect the ball and they are going to play a different sound depending on the type of wall. All of this will happen with only one script that you can reuse and simply change the audio clip. Inside the script, I'll define an audio source type variable and an audio clip type variable. In Unity, let's create a new audio source, disable the play on awake checkbox and add this game object to the audio source variable from our script. I do this for all the scripts I added to the walls. So every wall can play a sound when it detects the sphere. I also assign the audio clips to its corresponding script here in the audio clip variable in the inspector. Inside the script, I'll define the onCollisionEnter function and inside execute the playOneShot function on the audio source variable, passing the audio clip as parameter. So I don't care about the audio source or if the audio clip is the right one, I'm just going to play the audio clip you assigned me in the inspector using the audio source you also assigned me in the inspector. That's what the script would say if it could talk to us. Let's play this to see that it's working. I will show you how to make this crystal break effect in another video. Consider subscribing to stay tuned. With this button, you can go to the page to download the prototype, fully functional with models, textures and sounds. It's free, but you have the option to donate to support my content. See you in the next video.